Hello creative friends, it's Melina Dahl here and welcome back to my channel. Today I share a project made for the Mixed Media Art School and the prompt for this week is small. So, I will make a teeny tiny art journal because I love to make journals and I love to make these small cute, li cute little books and it was a long time ago so here I go again. I start to cut one ATC card, artist trading card made of um, grey board uh, into two pieces and that will act as my hardcover for the um, journal. And then I take a piece of watercolor paper, I place it on my scoreboard and just um, think about how wide I want my spine on the little book to be. And then I just score there. So um, I have a kind of a, a guide and a template and, and this piece of watercolor paper is where I will sew my signatures uh, into. Now I just take every scrap piece of paper that I can find on my table and there are many. I use my um, pattern paper like here and I also use some watercolor paper and so on. I make sure I cut every piece of paper uh, to size and then I stack them. I have three folded papers and put them into four signatures. So there are a total of um, 12 pages um, per signature and there are four signature as you can see here. Now it's time to work on the sewing part. I measure the spine and it's two and a half inch and I space evenly three marks, the middle and two more towards the sides and then I just roughly draw a line. I'm not that really really uh, um, worried about the exact um, measurements because it's such a tiny project you can't really go to too wrong. <laughs> um, and here I draw a line down the center and then I try to evenly space out four marks on each of these lines that I will poke with a pokey tool and that will make um, the holes for my uh, needle to go through when I sew everything together. And now I take my stack of signatures and mark on the same places as on the spine. Um, so the holes end up uh, aligning when I sew it, um, sew them in.
there are holes in the spine and in the signatures and now I can start to sew. And I start from the inside of the signature in the middle hole and then I go up either side works. Um, through both the spine and the signature all the way down to the other side through the signature and through the hole in the spine and I tighten everything and then I go back into the middle hole again and try to get the needle on the other side of the on of the center uh, thread so I have the two ends of the thread on either side of the center and then just tie a knot and I repeat that same process for the rest of the four signatures Now the basic construction of my journal is finished and I can start to work on the covers. I start by gluing down my artist trading card half <laughs> um, to add some sturdiness to the cover. I glue it on the inside of the watercolor paper. Uh, and then trim off any extra um, watercolor paper that's, that uh, is uh, sticking outside. And then I add pieces of paper that I have been, have had laying around for ages um, to the front and back of each um, cover, both the front and the back cover, and also one over the spine. Now my journal is almost done. It measures roughly six and a half by four and a half centimeters or two and a half inch by one and three quarters of an inch. And I just go over the edges of the grey board uh, using a white Posca pen 
to kind of hide it a little bit and then I go around the edges with some black ink and I'm really sorry my um, camera is out of focus quite much but it's such a tiny tiny project I need to be really near the book and it makes it hard for my camera. After filming I just put two words and a little flower on the front and that was my small project. Please share your small project this week uh, using the hashtag Monday Prompt Project on the Mixed Media Art School. I wish you a lovely day and I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.